Okay, so in the next one, we have to uh, recreate the choice function that uh, Python provides in the random library by using another function, randrange. Well, we can actually try out uh, what randrange does by running it in a shell. So, first, from random, let's, let's see first choice. Import choice. So basically choice, if, if we give it um, a list of numbers, I'm going to make a list range 10. So it will be a list of numbers from 0 to 9. And choice will take that and will just give me a random number from that list. So that is the behavior that we need to reproduce. From the other hand, we have run range. Oh, I think I mistyped it. So run range, we can give it. It's um, similar to range. We could give it just a number, and it will produce a range starting from zero up to, but not including the number. Or we can actually give it a start, an end, and a step. For example, if we give it a start by two and an end by 10 and a step by two, it will give us a random number, random even number between two and 10. But if we give it just a, a 10, for example, it will give us a random number between um, yeah, zero and nine. Okay, so we need to reproduce the choice functionality using rand range. Let's do that. First, I'm going to import rand range. Okay, and I'm going to define my choice. It needs to take data input. And to do that first, I'm going, well, I'm um, going to get the length of data by doing that. And I'm going to give that as an input to rand range to give me a random index in a random index in the data uh, sequence. So if we do this, okay. So now we got the um, data length. We produced a range starting from zero up to but not including the length and then using rand range we're just getting uh, a random number from zero up to the length and we will use that as an index to return data and then index so this will um, basically offer the choice functionality we can run it here again close the shell and I'm going to do, as always, run it interactively. Oh, those are from the previous exercises. Now I'm going to call my choice. And if I just give it a list of numbers, 5, 11, 6, it will give me one of the numbers, a random number. Okay, that's it for this exercise. See you in the next one.